G'day everyone, welcome to part 3 of the X-Ray XB4 Bogey Build Series. In this, in part 3, we will be building the front, rear, central transmission. Um, so, well in this case it will be the front one, and because as you can see here, I have gone ahead and built the rear, just to save time and to get my bearings on what I have to do um, so yeah so this is one I did earlier now we'll need obviously for this part of the build we'll also need the diff for it and we'll also need the, we need bearings as well from, uh, from out of the packet um, now, one of the things I will go over with you, um, being uh, these parts here that are made from carbon fibre, what I have done is I have, you probably can't see it, but I have gone around the edges with uh, thin CA glue, that's uh, this stuff here. Now, uh, the whole idea of uh, CA glue is it helps seal and protect the uh, graphite uh, because um, basically um, graphite or carbon fiber is woven and is in layers so this helps especially with off-road uh, or nitro as well um, if you've got a a race kit that has carbon fiber on it and you either it's either a nitro or it's you're racing in off-road it's a good idea to um, go over the edges with CA glue it's so what the CA glue does is it'll seal it and it will prevent moisture and or and oil from getting into the carbon fiber because carbon fiber is while it's fairly solid on the outside, on the edges it's porous and it'll absorb moisture and it will delaminate. So I've gone ahead and put CA glue around the edges of the of the uh, graphite tower. So what we'll need to do now is we'll need to assemble the uh, drive shafts. Now what we'll need for this part is we'll need some hoodie graphite grease it actually came with some graphite grease but I cannot for the life of me find where the tube went so I'll have to go on a bit of a scavenging hunt after I film it film this uh, this clip so what we need is the parts necessary for the uh, CVD okay so what we need to insert pin through here then with this part put these two little parts together this will go in you just gotta wriggle the wriggle it around now what we do is we get some graphite grease And we'll put a little bit in there, turn it over, put a little bit in there, and put some around. Don't smother it all in, because uh, don't forget this is an off-road, an off-road buggy, so it's going to get dirt and grit and grime and whatever in it. So you don't want you don't want too much. Now, once you've done that. Just turn it, just to help spread the grease around. And then you get this cap, and this will go over, and that'll stop the pin from coming out. So in this case you don't use uh, like a small grub screw to hold the pin in place, which is I think is a good idea. Okay, now what we need to do, put a bearing on, over the top of this part and so that's that section done now what we need to do 
is get this gear. We'll need to put some graphite grease around here. So, don't need to put a whole heap on. Make sure it gets spread around in the gears. Get another bearing. Okay, that's that on. Now what we'll do is put the gear in through into the housing and we'll slide the power of the CVD in. Okay. Now for this next part, excuse me a sec, this is the joys of using grease, it gets everywhere. Okay, so we can put that out of the way. Now you need a small, for this next step we need a small uh, screw and we'll need some thread lock. Now we'll just put the little screw on. Now all we need to do is just put a little bit of thread lock onto here because this will be going, this will be metal on metal so we don't want it to come undone. Stick it in. Try not to cross thread it. And just nip it tight, like that. Okay. Now we need to put bearings onto the diff. Okay, now we've got now when you put this in, it'll say it. It even says it here in the instruction manual. You can't see the instruction manual because it's just slightly off screen. Um, you just got to take note of the orientation of the diff because if you get it around the wrong way, you'll have say the rear wheels going forward and the front wheels going backwards. So take note of which direction you put the diff in. Okay, so now slide that in. Put the cap over. Now we'll get the two screws in. Oop. Alrighty, now we need to put the shock tower on. So we'll just put a screw in here. Okay, now while we're doing it, we'll quickly put this one in just so we don't get it crooked. And as I will say in pretty much every video, do not over tighten the screws as it's you're screwing it into plastic. Some people say, "Oh, why don't you use a like an electric drill?" Well, I mean, or electric screwdriver rather. I mean, yeah, sure, I can use one of those, but I find that when they're spinning. This is just what I've personally found. I've found that when you screw them, because they'll spin a lot faster, it'll heat the plastic up, and the plastic can melt. And personally, I don't want that happening. Let's come off. All right, folks. Last screw.
And there we have it, folks. The front and rear transmission housings. Stay tuned for part four.